What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to visit how to re-level sunken block paving. Now it's a, quite, quite a common issue, it occurs for a number of reasons, it can be washing, like washing the drive over, uh, reapplying the sand, lots of traffic, natural ground movement, um, in this case it was an ant's nest in this particular one. Um, so the materials we're going to need, sharp sand, rubber mallet, um, a plank of wood and a thick screwdriver. You don't want that screwdriver to break, so something you know relatively thick would be handy. So what you want to do is start by, um, actually firstly what you want to do is take a picture of the layout of the blocks, uh, something I didn't do straight away here um, and then I paid for it later on. Um, you want to start by removing one block. Once you remove one, the rest are easy. Identify the area that needs, um, needs lifting um, and then just take out the blocks that you need to lift. Don't start doing the ones around them. If they're around them, they're, you know, they're, they're set and they're, and they're in place and you don't really need to touch them. Um, so when you're taking them out, it's good to just sweep off the, the debris and the bits of like, sand that are touching them and it'll make them go back in a bit easier when you try and put them back in. So this is where I realised I need to take a picture. So yeah, take the picture, take the rest of them, you can see the ants that are coming out of this one. So they're obviously eating, eating away the base below, um, which has caused these blocks to sink. <clears throat> this is also around a drain, so there's probably a little bit of um, shift where the water goes down the drain and sort of runs the ground as well. It did cause a little bit of issue, we need to use a little bit more sand. So we actually went through whole bag and a half of sand on this job. There, there is another area um, which was quite bad but it'll give you an idea of how much sand you'll need depending on the size of the area you're looking to lift. Um, so yeah what you do is just throw in the sand, level it out. You want the rocks to be a couple of mil higher than, than the, the, the level ones when you're putting them back in so that when you compact it down um, it, you know, it sits nice and, nice and flat. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. Um, they can be a bit fiddly to get back in, so that's where your planker wood comes in. You want to lay that across, um, so it's all sort of level, and then hit that with the mallet. You want to avoid hitting the pavers with the mallet directly where possible. Um, once they're all in and flat though, you can give them a little tap with the rubber mallet. Just make sure that they're all in secure and, 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 and down properly. Because if there's still gaps underneath the block where the sand sits, um, they will just sink again. Um, so you want it to be nice and compact. So you notice I, I noticed a couple there. Um, that particular block there that's just a little bit lower, that is right above the pipe, so we couldn't really put some sand above that. Um, so then we moved on to the second area. So we've done it in sort of, instead of doing the whole area, we've done it into two sections. Um, it just helped with reapplying the blocks afterwards um, to have a smaller section rather than one massive section um, and then having to sort of work it out because it is like a bit of a big puzzle to get started. Um, but exactly the same method here. Lifted them all up, put the sand in and sort of leveled the sand out with my hand and then put the blocks back um, and you can see the importance of taking a photo of how it, how it all fits together here because I absolutely mess it up completely. And uh, I have to get out the camera with the photo on just to uh, see what I'm doing. So yeah, and then I'll work it out work out which way it goes, re redo the blocks. This is why it's so important to make sure you take a photo, that could have taken me 45 minutes to work that out. Um, they're, they're all so similar in colour and there's lots that are the same sort of size, it's, you know, it's quite easy to mess up which way they go around. So this was the worst area out of all of them, you can see it's quite, quite heavily sunk. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why this one sunk. Um, but there just seemed to be nothing underneath here and um, not even sort of a sub base um, in, the, in the biggest of the gaps so we did put a couple of bricks in there that they were laying around um, we, we and we aren't paving experts and um, we just sort of work with what we've got and it is just a DIY fix um, but you can see we put the rest of the bag sand in there and then we went and got an, another bag and um, luckily a customer had one because um, I grossly underestimated how how much sand this job needed. 
Um, so yeah, just started off by putting a nice layer of sand in. Um, obviously, you can add more as, as and when you need it. Um, and, and you can know, obviously take some away, but it is easier just to add as you need it rather than take it away. Um, and then using the, the wood there, just flatten down the blocks. Um, so I just put the, the edging pavers in first, just gives you a bit, this sort of better idea of uh, how to uh, put the rest back once you've got that shape. Um, yeah, and then it's just a case of using your using your photo to work out which way the pavers went and just uh, reapplying them, give them that flat level <clears throat> with the wood, and then uh, and then reapplying them all, and then you job done, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video guys, I hope it answered all your questions on how to raise those sunken block pavers and um, they can be a bit of a pain and um, if you've got any additional questions leave them in the comments below, I'll do my best to answer them um, but yeah otherwise best of luck with, your, uh, with sorting out your block pavers at home. Thanks for watching guys, catch you in the next one.